damn, I'm gonna work my way out this camp. They, they, not, they, they won't let you fast travel out this damn thing. You can't fast travel out of here. All right, now we can get to the three broomsticks. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Glad you came. Thought should I have the courage to go into the forest? Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? Mm. I did thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. Whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. 
Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Accio. What do you have in store for me this time? Accio! Incendio! Expelliarmus! Eight legs is simply too many. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. No, she him. thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. 
He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be I here if you question. are able to collect those hawk clumps. I wish you was I, my age. And the vendors I help would greatly Man, appreciate first off, it. How old was he when he was my age? Hope they know what. This must be the cavern Mrs. Brottle mentioned. Protego! You took that goblin helm! Better have a look around, see about the hawk clumps and the box of letters. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased.
Well, why do I feel like these are love letters? This must be Sorona's box of letters. Oh, damn it. No, I gotta go back. I missed one.
places. Defend them. the letter. again let's have a look around see if I can find that one to the Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Revelio. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad.
Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm sorry, this is so uncomfortable. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind. No, you're not. Especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. <laughs>